So you've made your new account, completed the tutorial, but now what? What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today, and today I have five tips for brand new players in Clash of Clans. And whether this is your first account or your 14th account, these tips will help you get your brand new account going. Tip number one is don't spend any of your gems. And the reason for this is the builder huts cost gems. So until you have five builders, don't worry about wasting gems in the game. When you're farming or playing at the lower town hall levels, boosting your army for 30 gems isn't really necessary because your army is going to train up pretty quickly and when you're just starting out the buildings upgrade really fast as well so it's not really necessary to spend two gems for five minutes you could wait that five minutes out and keep in mind you can get free gems by removing obstacles on the outside of your base but the stones will not respawn i really suggest waiting to spend your gems till you have three even four builders inside a clash of clans and the reason for this is as you go up you're going to start to unlock achievements and some of these achievements are going to give you more gems than others like you see right there we got two free gems which isn't much but when you start progressing you'll have achievements such as join the crystal league for 250 gems join the master league which is 1000 gems and then finally join the champions league for 2000 gems and that last builder the fifth builder guys costs 2000 gems so if you're patient and you save your gems and get those achievements you can actually get all five builders pretty quickly tip number two and this is probably the only time you're ever going to hear me say this but rush your town hall it's not gonna hurt you at the lower levels normally and you, if you watch a lot of youtubers you'll hear us saying don't rush max everything out and the reason is, is you can fall behind pretty quickly however at the lower town halls it's not gonna hurt you much honestly you could rush up to town hall 5 town hall 6 and it will be fine i promise you just as you're working on rushing make sure you're upgrading some of those buildings unlocking those archers uh at town hall 3 you're gonna unlock the laboratory make sure you're working on the lab but the big thing here is you can easily catch up as you're working your way up now i know this one's a little bit controversial guys but don't feel bad if you rush up to Town Hall 5, Town Hall 6, because really there's no reason to stick around the lower Town Hall levels. Tip number three is going to be with the challenges. Get used to knowing what challenges you need to complete because this is going to be a big part of the game later on. So you can see here we got like loot 4,000 gold, upgrade to bar our barracks to level two, and you'll get rewarded with gold elixir and even gems. And further down the line, you'll even get rewarded with magic items such as training potions, resource potions, potions and a lot of other great stuff that's going to help you along your journey up to town hall seven tip number four is going to be rebuild the clan castle as soon as possible this is going to unlock clans in which you'll be able to get donations and once you have clans unlocked i suggest going to the advanced options turn on only clans i can join and then find you a clan that you can join and hopefully get some extra troops these request and go clans are really nice you can go in here and you can just request like some overpowered troops something like a baby dragon and that baby dragon is going to help you out so much having a single baby dragon can help you progress through the gala map or even multiplayer as you notice that one said recommended for town hall four or higher right well with one baby dragon you could take this all out because guess what those are all ground targeting defenses so even joining a request and leave clan which they kicked me out of in after like two seconds you can get clan castle troops and then you can just go and get more loot pretty easily so i definitely recommend unlocking that clan castle as fast as possible look at this guys having a baby dragon having balloons in there you'll be able to hit way above where you're at and take down bases like this no problem and check this out we're gonna get all of that loot and we'll also progress our goblin map which there's achievements for guys remember those achievements are really important because we want those gems for those builders so our baby dragon I'll finish this one off and we'll get another check mark on our goblin map or another three star rather it's beautiful man it's so beautiful my fifth and final tip for new players and new accounts inside of clash clans is going to be rebuild the boat now for this you are going to need to be town hall four and the nice thing is once you get town hall four you actually get a little power boost resource boost and star bonus boost but you'll be able to rebuild the boat and start playing builder base which will allow you more gems but it'll also help set you up later in your account so you can work towards getting that sixth builder. This is something that you'll need to learn about, but basically just start working on your builder base as you're working on your main base. So it gives you something to do as you're, you know, waiting on armies and stuff, because remember, we don't want to waste those gems. We're saving those gems for our builders. So this will give you something to do in the meantime. After you
you complete the tutorial, you'll basically have a second village you can work on as you're starting out. And like I mentioned, there is a gem mine here that will generate gems for you so you can get that rebuilt. But there's also a lot of items that you can remove as you level up, which those items are going to give you gems like I mentioned previously. So there we have it, guys. Five tips for new players inside of Clash Clans. I do have a builder available. I'm going to get him going. That's always one of the biggest things. As you have builders free, keep them going, guys. That way you don't fall behind. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Hopefully it'll help you learn a little bit about the game, especially if you're just starting out. There's a lot of great stuff inside of Clash Clans, but these five tips will get you going. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.